you have any idea how expensive this thing was? Donna took the kids to see her brother for the three-day weekend. I faked a fever, so let's turn this thing inside out. A personal computer, like any other computer, is just a nothing box full of electronic switches and hardware. You know, the IBM, the Altair, the Apple II, I and mean, it's all the same junk. Anyone can buy all this stuff off the shelf right now. It's called open architecture. I mean, IBM, they basically don't own anything inside the machine. Except the chip. Except what's on the chip. The BIOS is on one of these chips, we just don't know which one. And the ROM BIOS is the only part of the machine IBM actually designed. I mean, it, it is the program, it is the magic. Bad news is they copyrighted it and they own how it works. The good news is well, there's a way around that, sort of. Reverse engineering. All right, grab me the oscilloscope. And a pen and paper, we need to record these pin voltages. I'm a little rusty at this. Yeah. Plus five? Yeah. Zero? Mm hmm Zero. Mm hmm Plus five? Yeah. Zero. Mm hmm Plus five? No. Zero? Yeah. Plus five? Zero? Yep. Minus five? Yeah. Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Minus five? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Plus five? Let's get to work. All right, write these numbers down. 2800-1316-0456. Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing here? Uh, we're writing down the contents of the addresses. All right, so each group of four lights represents a hex digit. I understand hexadecimal code. How are you getting this from that? This first line, that's a B. Two on, one off. One on. Okay, second line here, E. Three on, one on. Oh, I get it, I get it. One on. How many of these addresses do we need to transcribe? 65,536. P, four, two, four, eight, C, four. All right, <clears throat> let's see if we got it right. There's a prompt, that's a good sign. Needle in a haystack. Hold on, let's fire up the printer. It's not a lot to do. The IBM PC ROM BIOS. That's the assembly language code. Now we do our own chip. Well, I mean, I told you. It's a treasure map. 